Hello everyone, welcome to Wire Network. If you are using Zabbix to monitor your network, you know how important it is to get timely alerts when something goes wrong. In this video, I will guide you through the process of setting up Telegram notifications in Zabbix. This means that whenever Zabbix detects a problem whether it's a device going offline, high CPU usage, or any custom trigger you will get an instant alert directly on your phone via Telegram. It's fast, it's reliable, and it helps you stay one step ahead of network issues. Let's get started. Step 1. Configure SNMP on Microtik. First, access your Microtik router through Winbox or Webfig. Next, go to IP SNMP in the main menu. Enable SNMP, then configure the contact information and location. Here, I used the default community string for testing purposes. Step 2. Create Telegram Bot and Group Open Telegram Web on your PC and search for Botfather in the search bar. Start a chat and type new bot. Next, give your bot a name. Next, choose a username for your bot. After the bot is successfully created, copy the bot API token and paste it into the Telegram scripts for Zabbix. Next, create a Telegram group. Once the group is created, make sure to add your bot to the group. This step is mandatory. Once the bot is added to your group, copy the group chat ID and paste it into the Telegram scripts. Step 3. Adding Telegram scripts to Zabbix. Next, access your Zabbix server via SSH using the PuTTY tool. Next, create a new file for the Telegram script using the following command. Next, paste the Telegram script into the file and save it. To make the script executable, run the following command.
Step 4. Configure Zabbix Media Type for Telegram. Open your web browser and log into the Zabbix web interface using your credentials. Next, navigate to Alerts Media Type then click Create New Media Type. Next, enter a name for the media type. Next, select Script as the media type. Next, enter the name of the script you created using SSH. Next, set the parameter as alert.message. Next, navigate to the message templates. Add the problem and recovery message templates. You can choose different templates or use the default ones. Next, add the recovery message templates. Click the add to save the templates. Once the message templates are saved, test the media type you created to ensure it is working correctly. Step 5. Assign the media type to a Zabbix user. Next, access your Zabbix frontend using a web browser. Next, go to Users, User. Next, click on the Admin User. Go to Media. Next, click Add. Next, select the media type you created and enter your group chat ID in the Send to field. Click Add. Click Update. Next, we will enable notifications in the Zabbix frontend so that alerts are received whenever a problem occurs. Go to User Setting then click the Profile. Go to Fronted Notification. Enable the frontend notification then click Update. Step 6. Creating a host in Zabbix. Go to the monitoring, then click on Hosts. Click Create Host button. Set the name of the host. Under the Templates field, select Microtik by SNMP. Next, select the host group as Zabbix server. Next, Click Add in the Interfaces section, then select SNMP as the interface type. Next, enter the Microtik IP address and the SNMP community string you configured in Step 1. Click Add to apply the configuration. Once the host becomes available via SNMP, 
Click on the host and go to the triggers. Next, click the Create Trigger button. Next, enter the trigger name. Select the severity level as desired. In the Expression field, click Add and select ICMP pin. Click Insert then click Add button. Step 7. Configure Action to Send Message Next, navigate to Alert Action Trigger Action. Click to the Report Problem to Zabbix Administrator. Under the Condition field, click Add. Select the Type to Trigger. Next, select the triggers you created earlier. Next, click Add. Next, enable the action. Go to Operation tab. Next, click Add on Operations section. Under the Send to Users field, select Admin User. Next, select the Telegram media you created in the Send to Media type field. Next, click Edit on the Recovery Operations section. Select the operation type as Send Message. Under the Send to Users field, select Admin User. Next, select the Telegram media you created in the Send to Media type field. Click Update button. I am currently updating the Microtik WAN IP address, which will cause a temporary loss of connectivity. Zabbix will trigger an alert to our Telegram group during this period. You can see that we have successfully received an alert from Zabbix. Whenever a host becomes available, Zabbix will send a recovery update message. 